Candle Snuffer Flame Glow Nail Polish Applicator Disposable Washcloth Money Counterfeit Pen. On this Vivian Tries, I have seven Dollar Tree products that you would never expect to find in one of their stores. Number one, candle snuffer. Have you seen these at your Dollar Tree? I was shocked because how fancy is this? It came in, I think, two, two colors, three colors. No, I think three colors because it was like a rose gold, silver, and then this one, I believe. So cute, a dollar twenty-five. These are not part of that special aisle at Dollar Tree. I know you've seen it where they're trying to be like five below and make things a little bit more expensive. No, no, no. This is part of the original one dollar twenty-five cent aisle. Aldi Meat Dollar Tree. We'll turn it on and then turn it off. <laughs> I mean, how else am I gonna test that? So instead of blowing your candle like we normally do, do you really need this? Probably not. Let me know if you've used these in the past and you absolutely can't live without it. I mean, just blow out the candle, not a big deal. But is there a benefit to using one of these where your candles last longer or is it just for fun? Just for whatever, you know? Just another thing to buy, another thing to have. Is it just a decor thing? Like you have it right next to the candle to look cute. On the packaging it says, it is great for safely extinguishing candles with no mess. I've never had a mess. So <laughs> is it a mess to turn off your candles? I haven't had that experience, but please tell me about yours. I just blow it out. Not a big deal. Is your breath that strong that you blew over a candle or something? Like what are the dangers? How cute is this? Look, it moves. I was even thinking if you don't like the colors it came in, why can't we spray paint it? White? I don't know. Whatever your decor color combinations are. Oh, it's so cute. Why do I feel expensive for having one? If you have a flame that is kind of low or in there real good, it's going to reach without burning you. And then when you're done with it, you just light it like that. Do you love it? I feel like grandma, but I love it. Okay, I decided to go ahead and grab a tea candle so that you guys can see it a little bit better. That one's on. Okay, we'll do the tea candle first so you guys can see the magic happen and then we'll do this one. How easy this is. You just put it over the top, right? No instructions. <laughs> it's super easy. Just put it over the top. Never blow a candle again. That's what these are for. Great stocking stuffer. Grandma? For your aunt? She for anybody. Not even grandma. This is so cute, but my flame's kind of big in here. I'm nervous about this one. This is going to handle all that flame? That's a lot. Why do I love that experience? That is lovely. I think it extends the life of the candle somehow. I don't know why I think that, but I feel like it does something. I feel so proper and British. How lovely is this? What a great little treasure I found at Dollar Tree. Here's a little warning. Be careful because this little piece here gets hot. I wonder if you can put it up like this until it cools off because it gets hot in there. I don't know if you want to put it like this on your table and then have a little burn mark. Totally adorable, totally worth the dollar fifty, but the quality's I okay. Nothing fancy about it. Don't expect some Bath and Body Works kind of candle accessory, okay? It's not like that. It's very simple, super cute. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the candle snuffer five Vivian heads. Number two, nail polish applicator. How genius is this? I've never seen this before. So at first I was like, what the hell is this block? I think it's even silicone. Listen to what it is. For extra help when painting your nails, grandma, grandpa, yourself, if you're like a shaky person, maybe this is good for you or maybe you're, I don't know. I just thought it was genius. If you don't know what it's for, <laughs> you stick your nail polish in there or at least the top of it, your brush, and then you use it to paint your nails. Maybe for kids, maybe they're young and they don't know how to use this or not that they don't know how to use it, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little bit difficult for them. Maybe they have hand problems, achy hands. I don't know. Slide this tool onto the top of your nail polish bottle. The large handle helps you to hold the brush more steadily, have more control when painting with your non-dominant hand. Really? Okay, so I'm going to use it because one of my hands always looks great and the other hand looks like a child did it. Add precision over where you paint. $1.25. I love it and I haven't even used it yet. Now it did come in a couple of different colors. This was my favorite. Ooh, it is nice silicone. See, like that. 
Everybody can use this. What else could we stick on this for precision? I'm saying more than just nail polish, right? Can we not put a spoon in here or something? Maybe somebody has a hard time feeding themselves. I think this will work for all kinds of stuff, not just this. Oh, wait, before you open it, why don't you stick it on there? Oh wow, it's tight. I thought it was just gonna slip right in. Oh no, it's on there, good, good. The quality, A plus, okay? And it is sturdy, great grip on that handle. How cute is that? Pick a color. Which color do you want, that one? Good. Okay, let's see if I can open it with this on there. Absolutely. Get this, I bet a million people can use this. This is a genius idea. Is this a knockoff of another product I haven't seen yet? Let me go ahead and put a clear coat on. Just twist the top. Ooh, I'm gonna use it on my less dominant hand, okay? Let's see. Huh. Nice to use because it feels like you're holding something really, really big, which it, it is compared to the normal size of the polish top. Actually, no, it does feel more comfortable using this. Has it improved a thousand percent? No, but it does feel a lot more comfortable to use my less dominant hand to paint the nails. And we only wanna buy one and use it for other bottles. So let's see, I'm gonna take it off here. Yes, it comes right off. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the nail polish adapter applicator for Vivian heads. Number three. They're bringing in jewelry. How cute are these earrings? They're like that turtle. I think they're called turtle. I don't know, brown and black look. I love this look. Now they had different colors, different styles. I had to pick these because I want you guys to see them on camera, but for $1.25, if you're going on a cruise for like five or $6, you're gonna be able to get a couple of earrings for Captain's Night. Boom, look how cute that is. Let's see, they don't match my outfit, but it's just for pretend. So I get on my cruise and then forget about it. Okay, now, if my face swells up, <laughs> call 911 for me because I don't know if I'm allergic to this little metal piece. I usually am allergic. My ears are very sensitive. My skin's very sensitive. My ears will swell up like grapes. If that happens, y'all know what to do because the quality is not, you know, it was $1.25, but it's still really cute. Ain't nobody gonna be touching it. And as long as you don't have an allergic reaction, it's fine. <laughs> Do you love it? How cute. Oh, I don't know. I think I love them. Why are they perfect for a cruise? Not only could you get a few of them for $6 or so, different styles, but also if you lose them, they fell out at the ocean, you left them during your excursion, somebody tore them off, you forgot them in the room, paid $1.25 you're not gonna have any guilt because the good stuff you didn't take with you. Tell me you don't love them. Like I said, a thousand different styles, $1.25 for fashion jewelry from Dollar Tree. Now, if you go in there looking for the jeweler and asking for more than just point out where they're at, which aisle, you're gonna get slapped. I mean, you're not gonna get slapped, but you're gonna look silly, okay? Just look for them. They're on a little end cap, just hanging with all the other ones. Get you a couple, send me a picture on Instagram. Let me see what you picked up. So I'm gonna to give the Dollar Tree Fine Jewelry for Vivian Heads. Number four, disposable washcloth. Is this not everything? All kinds of ideas flooded in my brain when I saw these at the store. On a cruise, you know, take you one of these in the shower with you, or maybe you're on vacation and you're getting all sweaty and gross. Put this in your purse <laughs> or in your backpack. Go to the bathroom and clean yourself up. Now this is not to replace good old soap and water, but I'm just saying a disposable washcloth that looks like a baby wipe. Who doesn't need this? There are 18 in here for $1.20. Cents. They are alcohol free, disposable, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin C. It will clean, moisturize, smooth, and refresh your skin. They are not flushable, so do not put these down the toilet. Even for a road trip, since we all have hot girl summer plans and a lot of us like to tan, some with like self tanner and then some with just like body makeup like this, I thought I would put body makeup on and then try to wipe it off with this washcloth to see how much of this makeup it took off. I like the self tan, but the makeup when it's just quick, I don't have time to self tan, that's the go-to right there. Just quick little body bronzing makeup does the trick. Look how good that looks. Easy, not sticky, dries immediately. Now, let me set the scene. It's hot, you're sweating, your makeup on your skin is coming down your legs. <laughs> you're looking all blotchy, not a cute look. So, you're gonna go to the bathroom, excuse yourself, grab one of your disposable washcloths. Why am I so excited about this? And I think they're super extra long. 
like this big. <laughs> it's not a damn towel, but any everybody can use this. Look at this. Oh, wow, that's for the whole body. I'm gonna go get another one. Put on my makeup. Wipe yourself down with this before you get in the shower and then boom, it's like face makeup remover. White thing, maybe. Oh, it feels so nice too. Oh, that's gonna get the whole body. Look at me doing my legs. Ew, you know what it's good for too? If you're out of town or walking around somewhere at a flea market or garage selling and it gets hot or something gets on your legs, take out your rag. Not a rag, a washcloth. Oh, it freshen up. Don't have mud all up in your legs. Maybe you're at the restaurant eating seafood, clean your hands off. Oh no, but don't waste it for that. You get a little hand wipe for that. This is a full body towel as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and it smells so nice. It has a very mild smell to it. So impressed, I will probably go pick up more. And I'm gonna throw in the backpack, in the purse, in the car, in the cruise bag. Here's TMI and a PSA, all in one. For external use only, per the packaging. Don't put this near things that are very sensitive. Do we understand that? <laughs> I don't have to be specific, right? This is for just the limbs. And I think this brand is half decent. This is the first time I've seen them there. So I'm gonna give the disposable washcloths five Vivian heads. Number five, money counterfeit Pen. Did you ever expect to see something like this at Dollar Tree? I didn't. I thought these types of fancy government issued pens, I don't know if they're government issued. Uh, when we're talking about dollar bills and making sure that they are real, you would think that these pens would be a little bit fancy, a little bit expensive, not that easy to produce, right? Yeah, but they're $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Oh, you know what this is good for? Garage sales. <gasps> Great idea, right? If you have a garage sale going on, you can, is that a lot? <laughs> is somebody gonna get offended if you pull out the pen at a garage sale and you're collecting their money? Probably, people get offended for everything these days. I'm gonna use it at my next garage sale because you never know. You never know. For $1.25, why not? Why not be safe? So I have here a $1 bill and I have here a $5 bill, which I heard the $5 bills are gonna be extinct soon. Have you heard that? Should I be saving? this five dollars oh, watch it not be real i wouldn't know how to get a fake you just print fake money how do people do this okay so per the instructions on the box all you need to do is mark the bill in one of the areas that is not printed so kind of this yellow beige area if it turns dark then it is not real for at least 30 years. The mark will disappear after a few hours, so don't think you're writing on money. If the mark goes dark and stays dark, the bill is forged. If the mark shows up bright yellow, the bill is valid. Ooh, I didn't know that. Okay, I thought that if it was real, it was just gonna be clear, it would not show up. Okay, I wanna try it first on this piece of paper. Probably not gonna work, huh? Cause there's probably some kind of chemical on this paper. Let's see, I don't know. People try to print money on paper, I bet, and take it up to Dollar Tree. There's nothing on it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so is it okay to write on this money? Okay, let's see. There's nothing on this bill, as you can see. I'm just going to write right there, ready? It's yellow. I'm gonna say for garage sales, if you're selling big ticket items, example, a car, a phone, I don't know. Big ticket item stuff where somebody has to give you a pile of money. I don't know what you would be selling for a pile of money, but maybe you're selling a bike. It's not just a couple of dollars. You gotta be careful. Make sure that money's right. Okay, let's do the $5 bill. Da -da! My money's real. This one's fake. This is pretty impressive for $1.25. I think you should just throw one in your purse just in case. You never know when you need to pull that out. When your sister pays you back that money she owes you, take out the pen, see if she gets offended. This is a good investment into our future. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree money counterfeit pen slash marker is really what it is. Five, Vivian heads. We all need this. Number six. Flame glow solar stake for your grass. Hello, no more paying $19.99 for those infomercial lights that look like flames. Everybody's seen those, They're very popular for a couple of years now where everybody thinks that their solar lights look like real flames. Well now Dollar Tree is selling them to you baby for $1.25, tell me that's not a steal. This is super cute for the regular use out in the yard, right? But imagine if you were having a luau and then you put them on the table like this 
and everybody can have little flames. It can be the centerpiece, you know, and then everybody can take home their centerpiece. If you're Puerto Rican, you know you're taking home that centerpiece. So it comes with the little bottom piece, which is a steak. But listen, I'm saying you hot glue this down to something cute, and then you make it a beautiful centerpiece for a wedding. Quinceanera, Meluau. It says it is a realistic flame light. So cross your fingers that I don't have to go put it outside. Hopefully it has a little juice that'll turn on for us because it's raining. I love rainy days. It's raining, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a lot of sun. Now it does have a tab right there that we pull. There it is, look at it. Oh, Vivian, you're supposed to cover it. That's right. You can't see it. Let me turn off the lights. How cute. Look at it. It totally looks like a flame. Look at it flicker. I mean, it's not as good as some of the other ones I've seen, but that's cute for $1.25. It'll do the trick. You cannot beat that. Imagine 10, 20 of these as centerpieces. How cute is that gonna look? And this is not even with any sun exposure at all. It's literally been sitting in my studio. So imagine when it gets a really good charge from the sun it might even be a nicer brighter flame go get you some your yard's gonna look so cute and if you're having a party and you decide to do the centerpieces like I suggested send me a picture on Instagram I want to see it and if you've used them for different crafts I need to know about it can you hear the thunder you might be able to oh my god it's such a beautiful relaxing get in bed day so I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads number seven a miniature styrofoam cooler. How freaking adorable is this? Anything in miniature, I'm gonna buy it. I don't see these often. I only see them at Dollar Tree during the summertime. We can use this for a million gazillion things. The normal, put your soda pop in it. But I'm saying get creative with it. What I was thinking was, I don't know if you can do this on styrofoam. This might be the dumbest idea ever. Look what else I found. But this was at Walmart. It's a stone spray paint. So it'll turn something into stone. I thought it would be fun to make this stone and use it for like a kid's birthday party. Like if they want like a pirate ship birthday party or maybe they want a dinosaur birthday party, make this a rock. It's gonna cost us a whole $3. I mentioned this a second ago. It is pouring rain outside. So I don't know if I can go outside and do this, but I'm gonna try to do it somewhere near the outside of the house so that I can breathe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.